Hey guys, welcome to tonight's episode of Two Cups, One Bourbon. I'm Danielle. And I'm Dustin. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to tonight's episode of Two Cups, One Bourbon. I'm Danielle. And I'm Dustin. On tonight's episode, we are going to be looking at some of our finds from our bourbon hunting the past few days, and we're going to review my favorite, Blanton's. Blanton. Uh, this week, we actually snagged up some pretty hard to find stuff. Uh, this, especially the Stag Junior, unless you know somebody in the liquor store business and have a good relationship with them, it's pretty much impossible to find right now. The Batch 16. Uh, and I do think this is the last batch that'll be called Stag Junior. Uh, I know they're changing the name to just Stag. I don't know exactly when they're doing that, but we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, I've got two bottles of Stag Junior Batch 16 uh, over the last uh, couple of days. Got them both from the same spot. Uh, this is the uh, it's one, 130.9 proof. Some stout. So it's stout. <laughs> stout. We're probably never going to open those bottles. No, we're going to open them and drink them. Uh, we might save one just because I have a, a good feeling that for some reason these are going to shoot up in price when they switch over to just regular stag. So I'm going to try to keep one just for a novelty, mm -hmm. and then we're going to drink the rest of them because I do have a couple more uh, behind me that are batch 15 and 14 that we're probably going to drink. We have a few bottles. So, uh, yeah, these were good finds. Can't wait to try the batch 16. Everybody says it's good. It's exciting stuff. So. Speaking of doubles, we got two bottles. Yep. VH Taylor. Yep. Single batch. Yep. Small batch. Small batch. Yep. Sorry. We had to drive across state lines to find these bad boys. <laughs> Drove all the way to Gallatin, Tennessee. EH Taylor is, is it's hit and miss on hard to find. Uh, we did get everything at practically retail though, so we did. didn't have to overpay for anything. Uh, These were just sitting on the shelf. Yep. And a little a old liquor store that was built into a gas station. Yep. I just happened to pop in there and I was like, uh, I think I'll take both of those. Yep. The yep. woman looked really shocked when I walked up. She had no idea what okay. they were. So, great find on the twins. And we also found a couple Blantons that we're going to try. Uh, of course, yes. these, this is a different one. I, I probably got four or five bottles of Blantons. Uh, these are starting to get really hard to find, but you can still find them on the shelf. There is still some places that put them out on a shelf, mm -hmm. uh, but of course they're good. Of course, you know, if you collect all the uh, tops with the letters on it, it spells out blunt and you can send it to Buffalo Trace. They'll mount them to a stab and send it back to you, which really is pretty cool. cool. I want to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, Kentucky Owl, batch number 11. Yep. Dustin was super pumped about this one. I was. Uh, that's the new one. It. Uh, I think this is the actual last batch that Deadman had had anything to do with. He's no longer with this company, uh, so all the picks after this is going to be from somebody that I don't know when they do the blending. Uh, I think this is the last one that he did. If not, batch 10 was the last one he did, which makes me want to drink that one even more to see if they still... Got it right. Uh, the other one I picked up is uh, the Blue Run, and this is the High Rye. Uh, heard really good reviews on this, and uh, it's semi hard to find right now. Uh, can't wait to try it. We only saw that bottle in one other place yeah. while we were out. We yeah. went to a lot of places. Mid Winter's Night Dram. Now, this is Act 9, Scene 5. Which, if you look that up, that is the scene from Shakespeare in which Macbeth dies. Mm -hmm. so and I've, I've heard really good reviews on this, too. I haven't tried it. I heard it was really good. And these are getting super hard to find. Uh, this is, of course, made by High West. Mm -hmm. This is from High West out of Nevada. I picked that one up in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and it was the only bottle I've seen over the last two weeks. This is the first one I've seen, so I picked it up. Uh, it was on a shelf, and I got it for retail. Uh, I don't know if people passed it up, didn't know what it was, but I grabbed it. Lastly. Yep. Copper Tongue. And I've been looking for this one. We've been looking for this one for a while. And uh, really finally found one. one. Uh, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the Orphan Barrel Copper Tongue. It's 16 years old. Made in Tullahoma. Tullahoma. 
I love the bottle on this. Yeah, it's beautiful a beautiful bottle. Beautiful bottle. bottle. The we'll copper re tone we'll review great. some of this stuff, but we just wanted to show you a few of the things that we found over the last couple weeks. Good hunting. Uh, of course, not like I've said before, none of this stuff is given to us. We go out, we hunt for it. We have relationships with a few people that try to help us find a few things. Bought and paid for by us. We make a lot of new friends along the way. Most of the time I get stuff for retail or a little bit over, but I have had to splurge on a couple bottles that I just couldn't find and I give up finding. So I went ahead and just paid and, and, and went on my way. But to the man of the hour, the Blantons. Yay. Super this excited. One, uh, this is, uh, I wouldn't call it the lowest quality, but this is the, the normal one. It's just a single barrel. Uh, the dump date, 929 of 21. Not too long ago. Of course, it come from Warehouse H. Where uh, they all come from. Come from Rick number four, barrel number 109, and it's 93 proof. Mm. And this is the letter, in case any of y'all care, this is the letter O. And I think we've got all but A. A and L, or T. No, we've got a T. It's L. L. A and L. So we and need an A and L to, uh, to finish out the whole I'm blend. Find them all. Uh, I picked this one up in Gallatin 2. Uh, I had to ask for it. It wasn't on the shelf. I just politely asked if you had any Blantons. He said, yeah, I think I got one in the back. And here it is. Uh, so we're going to try this. I'm going to let her do the honors because I always seem to be the one to open them up. So I'm going to let her open one up. I hope I can get it. Yep, just pull. Oh. Just give sad. us a good pop. That's decent. Decent pop. Decent, decent pop. pop. Ooh. Mmm. Smells so good. And this stuff is, is really starting to get highly sought after. Well, I mean, it's always been kind of highly sought after, but it keep, this seems like it keeps getting worse to where it's really hard to get your hands on. I know a lot of people will buy this stuff and they'll have 40 of them sitting at their house, which is a little overboard. I mean, I try to keep four or five on hand, but... Uh, but something's going to have to change with the bourbon world. We'll get into that after this review. I want to talk a little bit about it uh, and some of the things that I've seen as far as the way bourbon is and pricing and, and all that other good stuff. But back to the bourbon. We'll put that back on it. Let's see what she smells like. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. It's not as strong of a smell as I thought it was going to be. Smells really good though. It's very light actually. Yeah, I get like I don't uh know if that's the right word. You want me to tell you what this smells like? The uh like the apple crumb. I was going to say I smell pie, cinnamon. Like the apple crumb pie, uh apple crumb pie that you get at a uh, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> yeah, I smell the cinnamon that's what to it. smells it, like. For sure. Smells really good. <laughs> it does smell really good. I, I got to really drink like it. I got to smell it. Ooh, that's nice. That's really good. That's really, really good. It's really good. <laughs> it is really good. You know, I I know a lot of people that I've talked to over the Blanton, some people say it burns the far out of them and some people don't. I literally don't have hardly any burn, just a little bit of warmth. It's warm. No, it's not anywhere it's really near. Good. I know if you watched a couple of our other videos, like the Wellers, I said I felt it burning my ears. This is just warm. Like... That's really good. It's great for winter time. I really like it. Yeah, that's really good. But nice. as long as there's been a hype over Blanton's, this is the first time I've tried Blanton's. Uh, yeah, this is the first bottle we've popped open. I was kind of like everybody else. I was kind of stuck on certain bourbons because it's what I liked. I didn't want to venture out of my little box. But since I have, we have quite a bit of different bourbon in this house now. <laughs> a lot. Uh, yeah, we're, we're really close to 100 bottles. Uh, a hundred different bottles. Different bottles, yeah. Uh, and I can't wait to try bottles. every one of them. I'd say out of all we have, I have tried maybe 20 of them. So we're going to go through them. And we're going to experience them the first time, just like some of you guys might be experiencing them the first time. And I wasn't about going out and hunting for this harder to find stuff because it wasn't worth my time. But now that I've got to doing it, it's, it's fun. It's uh, a lot of fun. And I love trying new stuff. But I already know what you're going to say, but on our, our scale of <laughs> appearance of the bottle, what would you give Blanton's? Five. Blanton's Five. is like my favorite bottle. I love, 
I love how it's round. I love how it's different. I love the horses. Yep. I love collecting these little horses. Even his blatant cigars, we keep the little tops on them because I absolutely love them. But just the appearance of it, there's nothing else like a Blanton's bottle. You can recognize one of these that's, from a mile away. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, I totally would agree different. with her on the five. It's one of the best bottles, the little grenade type bottles with the horse. And Blanton's is one of those that you could stick on a shelf 100 yards away with 20 other and somebody could spot that Blanton's out. You're going to know it. Uh, it's a real distinct bottle. I really love the shape of it. Uh, they also come in little bags. And with, with the, the letters on the horses and collecting them all and being able to send those to Buffalo Trace and they it's mount them for you and send them back to you, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's yeah. awesome. And I, I think uh, the uh, blade and bow that has the key on it, I think if you collect all four or six or something like that keys, they kind of do a similar thing with them. That just makes it fun. <coughs> it's like a little gift back but, to uh, purchasing the bourbon. But I, I would agree. Five on, on that. A smell. What do you say? I give it a four. I give it a four on a smell. I agree with you there. It's got a real mellow smell. Very light. But it also has the original, what I would call original bourbon smell. Very traditional. Uh, it's very easy on the nose. I don't have to search for it, but it's it's there. Yes. Uh, as far as taste, like I said, it it tastes just like a apple crumb pie from Cracker Barrel. I give it a four. And which I love, I I would agree with that too. I'd say a four. Uh, it's really good bourbon. Uh, That's the real, first time we've ever agreed. Real easy on me. On all three categories. It's real easy on me. I could yeah, find myself. I could drink this a lot. You know, usually when I drink bourbon, I'll drink quarter to a half because I don't pour it full because I'll drink five or six different bourbon bourbons in a night. Uh, I like to switch it up. I don't sit and just drink one all night. There's nothing wrong if you do that. I probably should do that. I'd probably save myself a little money. But, yeah, I, I would agree with the on the four on the taste. It's really good. It's definitely in my top five. Uh, really I would probably put it closer to my top three. It is really good. I, I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad. I was really nervous that it was going to let me down. No, and it, 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 didn't. it didn't. Thank you, Blanton's. Yes, thank you, Blanton's. Thank you, Buffalo Trace. Oh, I'm, once again, Buffalo another. Trace. My heart. You're just the best. I mean, like, it's thank like you. Buffalo Trace, they don't miss. They don't miss. They, they don't haven't miss. missed yet. They don't miss. Mm -mm. And I also heard a story about Buffalo Trace on... I don't remember which antique collection it was that they got done this year, or was it last year? And they the 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 tasters at the that they didn't like the way it tasted, and it was one of their allocated more expensive bourbons, and they did not like the way it tasted, so they poured it all out. They're big on that's consumer pretty. That, if that is if that story is true, that shows you the colors of Buffalo Trace. That mm -hmm. if it ain't good. They're not going to bottle it down into a cheaper and try to get rid of it to everybody. I don't think they would do that because I did hear that sto story that they did pour some high quality out that did not turn out like they wanted it. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, as far as the finish, what would you give this? A four. Four. Maybe 4.5. I'm going to go a little lower on the finish and go about a three. Uh, the finish was really good. It was a good warmth, not like super hot. The finish only lasted about three seconds for me. It was very short. And no, I agree gone. with that. It was very short-lived, which uh, is not always a bad thing for me. Not that I don't love the nice warm hug, but he does like a longer, lingering finish. That's mm -hmm. his thing. He's he's big on that. Yep. Um, but it was just, it felt nice. It was warm and cozy, which is good for me. Overall? 4.75. I'd give it a 4. So I'm close with you. I would give it a four for, for total everything. It's going to take a lot uh, to beat this for me. Yeah, I mean, a I, lot. It, it's hyped up. There's a lot of hype that goes around this bottle. That right lives here. up to it. And, and I would say, yeah, I'd say it lived up, it lives up to it. And honestly, the secondary market on these is only usually about double mm -hmm. what retail is, which isn't bad. I don't think we've ever paid more. Because I mean, I think they retail for 40 or 50 and they usually go for 80 to 100 on the secondary market. Mm -hmm. So... Would I pay a hundred bucks for this bottle? Yes. Because we have. Uh, but you know, some other bottles they retail for eighty and they sell for seven hundred. Now that's stretching it. But yeah. this bottle, even if you find Blanton's, if you're having a hard time finding it, you have to purchase it. 
for a secondary market, I say go for it because I think it's worth, well worth it. It's worth a hundred bucks. Oh, for sure. I, I've bought one hundred and fifty dollar bourbons that don't hold a candle to this. That's very true. We um, have much more expensive. Well, I say expensive, like we've paid much more money for bourbons that I'm less partial to. Yeah, and these are everything that we do. Of course, is our honest opinion, and we pay our car our hard. <laughs> Earn money for it. Plus, Nobody's we put in our hard earned time more yeah, than anything. Lots of time. We spent a lot of time. So, yep, yeah, it's it's really good. I really enjoyed it. I did. So, yeah. Thank you, Brian. We're, we're definitely going to tear into this rest of this bottle this week. <laughs> for sure, yeah. And try to finish up a few other things so we can pop the cork on. And that's another thing. I won't, Once I get about 10 bottles open, I'm going to finish those before I start popping anything else open. We're close to 10 bottles right now. Yeah. <laughs> We have a lot of things open. Yeah. Uh, but something else I wanted to, to touch on real quick is the bourbon market right now. Ooh. I know some places stuff is really hard to get. Some places it's not. Some people think it's idiotic the way the secondary mar market works. Some people think it's idiotic that you have to know somebody in the, uh, the liquor store business to be able to get your hands on some of this stuff. And I halfway agree on a lot of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you're if you're out bourbon hunting and you want to grab you a couple bottles that you're wanting to drink or to add to your collection, uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. But if you're first one in line at all these stores every week, following the trucks around town, and then I see a a post with the same stuff that I seen you get, wanting four times the amount of retail that I know you give for it. He's gonna call you out. It's, it's aggravating, you know. I think it, I think it's detrimental to the bourbon community. You know, these bottles are put out for people to enjoy, not as a money racket for you to make a bunch of money off of it. You know, if you have a job, that's how you make your money. Let's leave the bourbon to people that want to drink it uh, and collect it, uh, or collect and drink, however you want to put it. But mm -hmm. let's ease up on the flipping the bottles so it makes this stuff a little bit more readily available for people that want to try it because there's no telling how many people that's asked me how are you getting that stuff how are you getting that stuff you really have to go hunting for it or like i said know somebody that would give you a heads up if they've got something in so you can rush over there and get it but a lot of people work we work mm -hmm. can't always make it there so we miss out on a lot of stuff and i missed out on a antique uh a btac as it's called I missed out on it this week because I was about 15 minutes late. Because somebody ran over our mailbox. Yeah, because somebody <laughs> ran over our mailbox and I had True to uh, fix it. You had to wait for the cops to come out to follow So yeah, whoever ran over my mailbox <laughs> cost me a bottle of uh, William LaRue Weller Antique. With Appreciate the, it. With that being said, um, we actually experienced a really cool program that I think is a great way to do bourbon. We were in Gallatin on Friday night and we went into this particular liquor store and they had a VIP room. And in that VIP room, there was tons. Tons uh, of allocated liquor. Allocated liquor. I mean, tons of Bunches. it. So the, basically the way that their program worked is they had a buyer rewards program. And for their bourbon club, for every dollar, that you spent on bourbon. I'm sorry, every $5, yep. you earned was, a point. was a point, yep. Okay? So, once you got to a certain amount of points, you were able to purchase a bottle of bourbon at retail. Out of that room. For example, their Blanton's. Once you had 75 points, you could purchase Blanton's for $66. But you had to have 75 points. And what you, that does, that cuts down on people just coming in and you know, and I know a lot of liquor store owners, and I have a lot of friends that are liquor store owners, uh, and that's one thing that really aggravates them. If you're just there on Thursday mornings at 8 o'clock or Friday mornings at 8 o'clock when the truck comes, hey, you got any Buffalo Trace in, any kind of Buffalo Trace stuff, the allocated stuff is all they want. If you say, no, we didn't get it, they'll turn around and walk out the door. Or if you again. do, they'll buy what you have and walk out the door. They'll never see them again until that truck comes again. I can't tell you how many liquor store owners that really aggravates if i go into a store and i say hey do you have any blanton's laying around that come in off the truck no he done sold out okay i appreciate it i will wander that store and see if there's any kind of other bourbon or case of beer or whatever i wine for her uh and i will buy something because i'm supporting them 
I'm not there just to rape them. They up can't there. make money off of your allocated liquor purchases no. alone. You no. know? And a lot of them have really great selections of a lot of other really cool stuff, you know? And And usually what I do when I when I go in somewhere and, and they don't have any of the allocated stuff that I'm looking for, I'll usually go grab a bottle of something that I haven't heard of or I've been wanting to try, you know, a, a thirty to fifty dollar bourbon that I've been wanting to try and I'll grab it and I'll buy it. And you know what? And this has happened. I have went back to those stores the next week and asked for a Blanton's or a, a Stag. And yeah, I do got one. Let me go get it for you. Because he knew that I went and bought some. He knows that I'm not there just for his allocated bourbon. Uh, he knows that I'm going to spend money in his store. And the person that done this for me, when I, because the week before, I think I bought an old granddad's and a Mitchers mm -hmm. uh, from him. And, and then I went back, he remembered me. He remembered that I asked. He remembered that I still bought stuff anyway. He bought me out two bottles of Blanton's. So they do have it, guys. Just don't be jerks. Be nice. Be considerate. Buy other things. Buy your wife a bottle of wine. Create a relationship, not just a relationship, but a business relationship with these guys, and they will help you out. I promise you. So that's about all I got. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, questions. We will answer your comments. We will do everything. Suggestions on anything that you want us to try. Uh, if I don't have it, I will go try to get it. If you want to we'll see us, it. we'll find it and we'll, we'll buy it. <laughs> we'll make it fun. We'll find yeah. it. And we love hearing about other bourbons. If you've yeah. reviewed a bourbon and you want us to try to see if we like it, we'll tell you if we like it or we don't like it. Yeah. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of Blanton's. See if you agree with us. Because there is a lot of hype over this. I want to there see is. if everybody is on the same page. <laughs> but thanks, sure. guys. And remember, the best way to enjoy a bourbon is with a friend. Is with a friend. Peace. See ya.